Alright, so these are event cards from Monopoly Ultimate Banking. And I'm just gonna go through them and read uh, every thing and I'm just gonna explain to you what they mean. So, yeah, so let's, uh, let's get to it. So, the first one is... What a ride! Your local theme park builds the world's craziest roller coaster. Tap this card, then one of your property cards. Rent level jumps plus one for that side of the board. Alright, so basically, I'm going to tap this card onto the bank unit, and and one of your properties. And for uh, for this example, if you tap uh, like Pennsylvania here, then rent level will go will go up uh, it will go plus one uh, well it will go up by one from uh, from Pacific Avenue all the way to Boardwalk so just just this side of the board will uh, the rent uh, rent level will go up so so yeah but if you tap say uh, for example St James Place then that means just this side of the board will uh, go up one up one by uh, well the rent level will go up by one so so yeah that's basically what that means all right next is this wibble wobble sit in the bath of jelly earlier with the friend for charity all right pick another player tap this card and both of your bank cards collect two hundred dollars or yeah that um so yeah, so basically you and you, you pick another player um, and bank just gives you, you tap this card on the bank unit and the bank gives you $200 and it gives you and the other player that you picked uh, $200. So both players get $200. So. Alright, so next we've got uh, Rover's Revenge. <laughs> Your pet did that, yeah, <laughs> on the patio. Anyways, uh, but basically that means just tap your card at then that any property and the rent level goes down. Which that's to level one actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's what it means. So, let's see, tap this card, then any property, card, rent level resets to one. I guess just one property that you tapped. Um, then just that property may, um, resets to level 1, I don't know. I guess that's what it means, so, I suppose that's what it means. So, anyways, um, it just says any property cards, rent level resets to 1, so, um, so I suppose just one property that you tapped resets to level 1, so, yeah. That's that, let's move on. Uh, next... Test the season. You've caught that nasty go going around. Tap this card, then one of your property cards. Color set rent drops down one. Yeah, minus one. So basically, let me just say. Uh, Yeah, you you get the idea, right? So, color set rent level goes down, Go, uh, goes minus one. So if you're if you're three forty, it goes down to one. But if you're four, um, if you're at level three, it goes down to level two. Makes sense, right? Um, but yeah, that's that's what it means. Mm. All right, so next we got deal of the week. Word oh, word on the streets as market. Word on the street says the market is booming. 
move any property move to any property space tap this card uh, then then the property uh, card to buy it or auction it or raise rent level well this is pretty much self-explanatory right so you just tap this card and then you just uh, move you move to any property space where whatever card that's not being bought or um, that or has been bought then and that's what uh, uh, basically you you can either buy it or auction it or raise rent level um, yeah so you get to make whatever you want so I mean <laughs> yeah just do what it's you do um, basically you just do what it's saying that so move to any property space and uh, tap this card and uh, this card and then you can either buy it, uh, auction it, or raise rent level just by tapping your property if you move to your own property if all properties are being bought then mm, from the bank then uh, then you can go to your own property and raise rent level there so yeah you, you can do that as well so that's that um, Next, we got house party. Good, uh, the good times uh, go until late. Tap this card, then one of your property cards, rent level jumps to plus one for you and drops minus one for your neighbors. Ooh, that's gotta be something. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah, so if you tap one of your properties, then rent level jumps. One of your property cards, then rent level jumps to plus one for you and one for you. I'm not sure exactly if it's if they're referring to all the other uh, all the other. Um, for all properties, or or is it just one side of the board, or what? I don't, I'm not really sure what it means. I would have to double check on that, um, how that works. Um, or um, hmm. tap the score then. One of your property cards, rent level jumps plus one for you, but minus one for your neighbors. I don't know, let me know in the comments below uh, what you think this means, <laughs> or because uh, I haven't really tested. Oh, I don't know, maybe I did, but I don't, I don't remember if I did, but, um, but I'm gonna have to double check again, see what this means. Uh, but I, I'm guessing it's just whatever cards are being bought, just um, just rent level raises up for you, um, just for you and the other cards that are being bought, the uh, the rent level minus one for your uh, for other players. <laughs> I guess I guess that's what it means. So um, um, I'm not sure if I'm <laughs> that that's how it is, um, but yeah. I suppose that's what it means, but do let me know, or correct me if I'm wrong, but, but I think that's what it means, uh, um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, let's move right along, so, uh, next, on the map, the new railway station, go ahead, yeah, it gets to go ahead, tap this card, then one of your property cards, color set, rebel, then, Cover and color set rent level jumps to plus one. So yeah. So yeah, it makes sense, right? So even if you have um, color set, color set or rent level um, jumps to plus one. So I suppose even even if um, if two players have have um, different cards, maybe, um, 
if two players have um, different cards, so let's say one player has boardwalk and one one player has park place. <laughs> so again, so if um, if one player has boardwalk and the other player has park place, then I guess um, if you tap boardwalk, um, for example, and I guess rental level goes up. Um, as well, and for the for the other player as well. We have to double check on that, um, but do let me know if that's what it means. But um, I'm I'm just trying to remember if that's exactly. But I mean, but it does say um, for um, color set rent level. So I, I guess I suppose that's um, I suppose that's what it means. Um, I'm just making sure to uh, if I'm right. So. So you tap this card and then color set le rent level goes up. So if it's talking about color set, then I guess both cards are going to uh, going goes up by one by level up by level one or plus one. Yeah, jumps to plus one. Yep. Yeah. So that's that's what that card means. <laughs> Next is. Stop the presses, get the lockdown on the hot property, move to any property space, tap this card, then you uh, buy it rent, rent or raise rent level. Um, but yeah, same card that was previously, this is just a little bit of a, a different headline and everything, just but everything else um, is from, uh, from the card, um, a few cards previously that I uh, read about moving to any property space. Um, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Demolish. Your builders get the wrong address. Tap this card, then any property card. Raise rent level resets to 1. So, yeah, you just tap this card, then one of your properties, and that card resets to level 1. Um, and that's um, what it is, yeah. So that's that. On the run, summer more marathon shuts down on the road. I mean, shuts down the roads. <laughs> Tap this card. Play. Uh, Tap this card. Players pay rent level. Tap this card. Player. Uh, players pay a level one rent only for the next two payments. For the next two rent payments. Well, that's pretty cool, right? So, if you get this card and you t you tap this card, then you get to wherever you land on and whoever and whoever. So for the next two payment, for the next uh, you go go around the board and whoever you land on. Um, so, I guess you go twice around the board to um, wherever you land on, but <clears throat> um, you have to wait till you, um, for the next two payments, for the next two rent payments, um, you pay, yeah, players pay, right, so players uh, pay at level rent only for the next two payments, I guess that refers to all players, uh, not just not just one particular player, but or yeah. I suppose that's what it means. Uh, let me know if I'm if that's if that's what, exactly what it means. If I'm, if I'm but uh, I think that's what it means. <laughs> I'm just making sure if I'm right. So do let me know if that's correct. So, um, but yeah. Tap this card, then one of the player players pay. Uh, Alright, tap this card and the players pay level 1 rent only for the next two payments. So I'm guessing that's um, for referring to all players and players pay rent only for the next two, for the next uh, two rent payments. Yeah. 
So that's that. What is that smell? Uh, local, local Silver Springs Lake. Tap this card in one of your property cards. Rent, uh, rent level, um, rent level drops minus one for that out of the board. All right, so say so you uh, tap this card on the bank unit, and you uh, tap this card as well. So, so that means minor rent level goes down on just this side of the board. So yeah. So that's that. So if you tap one of these cards or one of these cards, then um, just just this side of the board uh, goes minus one. Rent level goes down by by one. Grand designs. One of your properties gets a TV makeover. Tap this card. Then your property cards. Then one of it. Tap this card. Then one of your property cards. And the rent level jumps to five. Whoa, that is crazy. So, so if if so if one of your so if so you could if you have uh like say Marvin Gardens for example, and you tap this card, and you're still at level one or level two or three or some. Or somewhere even, or somewhere here, or say you're just on level one and you get this card, and it suddenly jumps to plus five. Whoa, <laughs> that is craziness. That, that just it jumps way on. <laughs> just, <laughs> it just jumps all the way to level five, and that's how much player will pay. <laughs> well, it has to pay, but yeah, but yeah. <laughs> If a land, if if a player lands on it, but yeah, and this is just for instance a fun example, but yeah, um, but that is craziness. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Love is in the air. Meet someone special right on your street. Pick another player. Tap his card. Both of bank cards. Both of your bank cards collect two hundred dollars. Yep. So all you have to do is just tap this card and one of it. Um, then both of your bank cards to collect two hundred dollars. Uh, for yeah, two players get two hundred dollars. There you have it, right? So that's what it means. <laughs> um, um, all right. Boomtown. Uh, property prices bounce back. Move to any property space. All right, this is the third one now, uh, where you can move to any any property space, either on your property or property that's unowned. You may buy it or auction or raise the rent level uh, just by tapping one of your properties. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Crime down. Please arrest local, uh, local newspaper thief. Tap this card on one of your property cards. Color set on that rent level jumps to plus one. So you get the idea, right? So. Uh, <coughs> color set. Raise rent level. Goes up by one. Yeah, that's basically what it means. So. So that's that. Um, jumps to plus one. Color set red. Level jumps to plus one. Pick your, pick your own. Catch someone stealing your prized tomatoes. <laughs> so this is a little bit different from our original monopoly. Instead of, uh, uh, instead of getting a, a go to jail card, um, this one is actually tap this card and send another player to jail. <laughs> Yeah, so not 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 you who not who or I mean, <laughs> so it's not you who if if you happen to get this card and you uh, and you see this like 
Um, it's not you who's going there. Uh, unlike the uh, original Monopoly, it's not that you who's going to jail, but you can send here in Ultimate Banking, you can send another player to jail. Uh, what it says, tap this card, send another player to jail. It's a boy. Uh, new, your new arrival wakes up the whole street. Tap this card, then one of your property cards, rent, rent level jumps to plus one for you, and drops down for your neighbors. We already, we already had something like this before, right? The other, um, previously, um, some cards ago, we had similar to the ones in here, uh, about tapping this, tap this card in one of your property cards, where, set, where rent level jumps to plus one for you, and drops minus one for your neighbors. Yeah. So this is pretty much the, uh, pretty much the same as it, as we had before. So that's that one. So pretty much similar or pretty much the same. Tornado Alley. Hey, where did it? Where did the rope go? Tap this card, and then any property. Uh, Tap this card on any property card, rent level resets to 1. So, yeah. Yeah, so if you're, uh, if you're at level... So if you're at level 2, 3, 4, 5, um, on your... If your house is on level, um, level 2, 3, 4, 5, then you tap this card, the, uh, rent level resets to one so that's that's that so that's what happens in the money spend your lottery million swap another player property with one of yours pick another player tap this card then each um, then you each tap one of your cards property cards to swap and exchange cards too. So this is where you would exchange cards um, with another player. So there is no um, like so in the in ultimate banking there is no um, selling or um, or selling to the bank or or, swap, um, or, or there there's no trading in, in this game um, like you would do in the regular monopoly. This is only if you get this card to uh, to swap or to exchange cards, um, then you would exchange. You would tap this card on the bank unit. You would pick another player, then tap uh, tap this card on, on the bank unit, uh, and then then tap one of your property cards to swap and exchange cards. So so yeah, this is the the only this is the only card that you would. This is the only time that you would uh, um, that you would swap or exchange properties with another player. Total gridlock. Faulty traffic light. Get the street in jam. Tap this card, and all players move directly to free parking. Do not pass go. Yeah. Do not pass go. If you're in jail, stay there. So yeah. So, um, all of yeah. So wherever you are in the board, all players will go directly to free parking, and you do not pass go and do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> um, but yeah. But if you're in jail, stay there. Makes sense, right? Yeah, but they're um, in basically. Yeah, you, you don't do anything on free parking. Uh, just know that nothing happens on free parking. So just uh, ordinary free parking. <laughs> you don't get anything. You don't do nothing. You just you just parked. Pretty much. You just there's no no winning. No <laughs> no nothing. You, you just stay there and do nothing. All right. Just a free parking. 
you don't win anything if you lose land and free farming. So, so, so yeah, you, you <laughs> tap this card, yeah, and this card sends all players. Uh, directly to free parking, and if you're nearly yet to go, and you and you uh, and you got this card, then you would have to go all the way to free parking, and you wouldn't have to, and you don't know, don't pass go. You just went to free parking. Haunted house. Something strange going on. So another player's property of one of yours. Oh. This is the second card, and that's uh, we had a few cards ago, um, similar to the ones in here. Um, yeah, so it's like another player tap this card, then um, then each tap, uh, then you each tap one of your cards, your property cards, to swap and exchange cards too. So yeah, it's pretty much uh, the same card as it was a few cards ago. Um, but yeah, you just exchange. Um, Tap this card and then you'll exchange properties with another player. Stretch. Uh, how do you read it? How do you pronounce that? Stargazing? Is that right? Yep, yeah, stargazing. <laughs> um, the, the hottest. Hottest. A list of celebrity moves next door. Tap this card and one of your property cards. Color set rent level jumps to plus one. Alright. So cool, right? So just color set rent level jumps to plus one. Goes up by one. So so pretty cool, pretty cool thing, right? So so again, right? Color set rent rent level. Like that. Even even though if all players have different even though if uh, all players um, are the set, um, if like either two players, have, um, if if one if one player has two cards and the other player has another card, then um, then uh, yeah, that goes up by by one as well. So um, or like uh, or if or if if each player has one card like this, like so, then still, if uh, it's still it's still a set, right? Just color set rent level goes up by one. Um, but so that's that. Yeah. Anyway, so so yeah, that's pretty much what it means. Last one. Highway tax. Your roads need repairs. Tap this card, then your bank card. Oh, then then your bank card to pay fifty dollars per property you own. Whoa, that is crazy! It so imagine how many how many cards you're gonna have. Um, that's gonna be like quite a lot. So if you have a lot of cards. You know, you're gonna pay 50, 50 per property. <laughs> so if you have like least amount of uh, cars and you get that card, you only like gonna pay like a one, a one fifty for that. But if you, but if you have like two months, then you're gonna have like you get this card, then you have to kind of count it up and see how many, <laughs> see how many you're gonna, gonna pay 50, 50 dollars per property. So, so yeah, that's that. <laughs> Fifty per property. Craziness, right? So these were all the event cards. All right. So hope you liked like this. Alright, so I hope you like this video, um, like, comment, subscribe, and um, see you guys next time.